Hello guys, welcome back to Sophie Reacts. Have a wonderful day. Today we're gonna be watching Once Upon a Time Season 2 Episode 13. This episode is titled Tiny. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. Ready to go, Miss Swan? Almost. Do you think we'll be cold where we're going? Henry's is going to. I thought the terms of our agreement were quite clear. You owe me a favor, you alone. I'm not leaving Henry here with Cora lurking about, so either we both go or we both stay. And then you'll what? Cross the town line, and David Nolan will hunt me down in his animal rescue van. I'll be devastated. This isn't a threat, it's a request. <laughs> okay. I promise no harm will come to the family, after all. <laughs> that line, that line, oh my god. It's, and what? <laughs> you're a real gentleman, aren't you? All right, Gold. You're going out there with my family. Just know if they call him Gold. Then you what? Cut the top line and they would no longer love me. <laughs> Every scene with Ron Paul is Gold. Pun intended. <laughs> but seriously. I promise no harm will come to the fam. After all, we have a deal. So you're doing this for family too? I think he meant after that. Let's just take things one step at a time, shall we? <laughs> he sounds like my dad. Well, if it doesn't, and I revert to my cursed self, we're all gonna have some. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Rumpelstiltskin. We're gonna find my son. Aww. You're the giant. You like the holster, huh? I miss carrying a sword. Well, it looks good on you. Mm -mm. What? You were framed. Who would do that? Your mother. She's here. <sighs> Regina. But if Cora is here, then we're all in danger. Please, you have to let me see my son. I can protect him. He's not here. Mr. Gold asked Emma to help him find his son. They left town about an hour ago with Henry. And no one told me. We didn't know where you were. And to be honest, Regina, I don't think Emma has to run anything by you. No, I suppose she doesn't. I mean, Regina at least needs to know where her son is. But, uh Sad thing that even here, when Regina seems to be reaching out and the charm is apologizing for, you know, doubting her, she's already plotting with Cora. She had been making progress, you know, sh showing genuine improvement, and, and Cora came along and tore it all down. I hate Cora, seriously. Let's go find Cora. Where? No idea, but I know who to ask. Ew. Oh. How are you feeling, Hook? Come closer and fear for yourself. Uh, you wanna lose the other hand? Where's the ship? Come on, Archie told us it's shielded somehow, isn't it, mate? <laughs> Tommen. I'm watching you, pirate. Yes, dwarf. <laughs> that should deter me from any mafia essence. Oh, don't worry, Leroy, he'll help us. What makes you so sure? You know which way the wind blows, and right now, it is gusting towards us. Mmm. Uh, you're late, honey. It's called Tiny. <laughs> you're just so damn tiny. Tiny. All right, enough. How is he tiny? He's a giant. After a century of hard labor, the time of the beast finally arrived. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Each has value, just as each of us has value. Here, 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 here. So say that I was. So what? The fascination with the humans and their artifacts is misguided. No good can come of it. We giants foster life. They destroy it. That is why they must never know that we still exist or that we still grow the bee. But why do we keep growing them? If nobody ever uses them. Mm. Good question. We don't do anything with them. It is the labor that makes us who we are, not the fruit that it yields. What is this? A human toy? Put it down. <laughs> Sakura used magic to make him travel sized. <laughs> travel sized? <laughs> I don't know what she's planning. Why don't you wake the bloody giant and ask him yourself? 
Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Eyes on Hook. Eyes on Hook. I don't trust him. You. Me. You. Him what? Step away from my husband. How does he know Charming? Maybe he he met him. You'll pay for your evil. I promise. Back in the enchanted forest. I thought you could use some comforts from home. You were always telling me about Jules Verne, so I brought you my favorite, the mysterious island. Thank you. Well. Were we really friends? Yeah, we were. Hmm. Aiden, I don't need any more tranquilizers. No, so don't call me that. Why does everyone keep calling me that? I don't. I'm fine. I don't. Oh my God. Everything okay in here? Everything's fine, Mr. Mendel. How are you? Much improved. Well, then rest up. The sooner you're better, the sooner you can be out of our quiet little town. <laughs> In other words, leave. <laughs> did that giant just say he'll make you pay? What did you do? What? I have no idea. I've never seen that guy before. Really? He just thinks it is. How? Oh. You are a true wonder. I know. She was, she was in the Vampire Diaries. Wait, that's a... Uh... Uh, Charmin's uh, twin brother. Uh... My father the king? Father, this is... I don't care. <laughs> Kingdom is teetering on bankruptcy. The name of your latest dalliance is of little concern to her. Pleasure to meet you too, your majesty. <laughs> she had the same vibe. I'd love the chance to battle. No, Kelly, not yet anyway. This giant could be of use to us. Just tell me what needs to be done. Okay. Charmin's brother. Where are we going? I know just what kind of trouble my brother got himself into. Leroy, get your head looked at and gather the dwarves. You keep an eye out for this. He <laughs> got her in the same place. <laughs> Poor Tommy. I'm James, prince of this realm. I wanted to make sure you received a warm welcome. I'm Anton. I'm a giant. I wanted to see it for myself. We would be more than happy to show you around. Back home, I'm too big for here. Don't despair, Anton. I have something that may help you. They couldn't pay me in gold, so they paid me with this instead. If you eat it, it will change your size. Is it from uh, Wonderland? Well, I haven't had the occasion to try it, but the wise woman who gave it to me swore by its power. If it makes you happy, that's all the payment that we desire. Well, then at least tell me your name. Jacqueline, but most people call me Jack. She's the one who slayed the giants. Oh, nice. Nice twist. Have you ever been outside a storybook before, Mr. Gold? <laughs> Obviously. No. Are you worried about meeting your son? No, Henry, I'm fine. <laughs> How about we talk about all this? Henry, he's being the typical kid. Non-stop questions. Gotta put your shoes in. <laughs> Seriously, I always think the same thing. <laughs> Just put your shawl on the bin. I'll help you get through. If I let this go, I could forget who I am. I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh, how are you not gonna let that happen? Okay. Uh uh uh. Quite interesting to see, see you know, Rumpel Sills can be vulnerable and I may know helping him. It's it's a yeah, it's an interesting dynamic. Come on, come on, be quick. Well, hello, Hook. Expecting my mother. The one you were supposed to kill. Well, I didn't want to deprive you of a happy <laughs> A giant in town who wants to kill the oh. This is just the distraction we need. All the progress she made has gone by the wind, which is frustrating. <laughs> much better to be on the inside. This guy really feels different from Charming. The actor is doing such a great job. Those are harsh words. Oh yeah, it's sort of that. Sometimes you have to leave home to find the people you truly belong with. 
totally playing him, poor thing. Guys, you're so wrong about humans. Is there a problem? He didn't tell you, did he? <laughs> Might as well make sure it's an ice kingdom and not, you know, burn to the ground. You are our hero. Poor Tiny. Get away from me! I'm here to help you. No, you're human. I hate humans. Don't come any closer! She hate humans too. <laughs> Look, I hear you're in town because you want to kill someone. I can help. I have no love for this prince either. And if you want to destroy this town to get to him, well, I'm happy to do my Oh, uh, Regina. Uh, she's, she's back. The evil queen is totally back. Forever. Only took Cora to be back for her, you know. Do you want something to eat? <sighs> something wrong? Stop asking me that. He's totally nervous. He doesn't do well in foreign place without magic. He doesn't do well with, with feeling vulnerable and helpless and not in control. <laughs> Such an interesting character. I went down below to see things for myself. You went to the human. Do you have any idea how dangerous that could be? I met friends there. Friends who understand me. Who like me. How about that? And Toth, I know we tease you, but we love you. You're our brother. You know that. I thought he's the father. Welcome you with open arms, you could crush them. There's magic that can change me to their size. And with this treasure, we can all be happy. Run! Run! Oh my god! Run! Dude! Head to the town hall! Bring anyone you find on the way! Somebody get Leroy! Guess we found our giant. I just didn't think you'd be so <laughs> Wait! You don't have to do this. Yeah, I do. You destroyed everything in my life. Now you're going to know what that feels like. We're here because of you. You know our daughter, Emma. You gave her the magic compass. Emma, let me talk to her. She says you're OK, then I'll stop. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> How convenient. Everyone I'm looking for isn't around. <laughs> His name is James? Right. Well, your name is James. No, actually. Exactly. David. So his <laughs> real name is David. Lead a giant away from here so he can't hurt anyone. Wait, if we keep heading in this direction, we're gonna hit the town line. Okay, new <laughs> Anton! How about we make a deal? I don't make deals with humans. Uh, just hear me out. I'll surrender myself to you. If I don't, the whole town will suffer. I can't allow that. Well, what do you say? Deal. Oh my god! Dude! Oopsie. Oh. Uh, help him! It's not bad. He's not bad, he's just angry after being betrayed by James and Jack. You know, plus lonely when his entire family were killed by humans, leaving him utterly alone. But he knows that humans are not all bad. Emma showed him that. You must raise the field. No, if the humans take the beans. Destroy the beans? Right now, that means destroying them. Hmm. Look at them, everyone's trying to help. Even though it was terrorizing them just a few minutes ago. Oh, they're good people. Hold, hold. 
No. No? Come on. I don't want to go back up there. I should just let go. You'll die. Maybe death hurts less than life. Don't say that. If you really wanted to die, you would have let go already. Yeah. They're still holding on. My hand. Yeah, come on, Tiny. You saved my life. <laughs> We're not all the same, Anton. I don't know what my brother did to you, but that's not us. He did a lot, yeah. James! Sorry, love. Please. I'm sorry, Jack. I don't know it. I have a kingdom to run. He was such an ass. Anton, always. I mean, if he was raised by that man, of course he'd grow to be an ass. Everyone else is dead. You can't die too, please. I know your path is hard, but someday we'll know which road to choose. When you do, you will need this. Nice bean. New beans will grow. You had me salt the land. Nothing can grow here. Then someday. Storybrooke? How? Arlo? Arlo! Are they gonna go back to the enchanted forest? Thanks, but I think I'll set up camp in the woods. In the woods? Yeah, I'm better off alone. I'm not too good at fitting in. <laughs> Storybrooke's got all kinds dwarves, fairies, werewolves, you. <laughs> The stem is from a beanstalk. If I plant it, I should be able to grow some magic beans. And then you just may have a way. I feel like Snow doesn't want to go back. Look at her. She she doesn't want to go back. Well, what's the verdict? Soil's got a nice, loamy feel. A lot of minerals. The beans should grow well here. Only one problem. What's that? Cora. This is why she brought me. She wanted me to grow beans. Oh. Then we won't let her get to them. No one touches our crop. <laughs> Your crop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what do you say? You up for some help? Oh, he found his brothers. Happy. Here. To help break up the earth. Oh, now he's one of them. My brothers used to call me that. Pax never Aww. Wait a second. I did my time in the mines. How come I didn't get one of them? Because you ain't a dwarf. <laughs> Aww. Finally, he found his family. Love that. Hey, it's okay. It's gonna be like, I saw what you saw? My name's Craig, okay? I I'm a patient here, just like you. I I'm really sorry to bother you, but... I'm the one that was driving the car in the accident. Look, I, I overheard you talking about how you saw a guy with a ball of fire. And <laughs> you think I'm crazy too? Well, I did see it. I hey, did. I know that you're not crazy. Because I saw it too. She looks beautiful. But I read news. I'd been the one raised by King George. Instead of my brother, would I have been corrupt like him? Never. Eh. Uh, mm. Hey, your hearts are different. Yeah, I don't think so. I had a lot of fun today. Fun? <laughs> Almost getting killed is fun? Yeah. <laughs> when the beans grow, we could go back. Everyone could go home. I don't know. What don't you know? Home is where our family is, and that's here. Because of Emma? Oh. Rated from her again. You worry about her. Of course. Emma can take care of herself. David, and come on, no. I'm sure wherever she and Henry are, they're safe. No. You've been through all of this just to reunite with your, with your daughter. Now that there's a chance for you to be a family, you're like this? Come on, what the hell? I know she's all grown up. She's 28 years old. But still. A trip with you. First plane ride. And we're going on a quest like a nimble. The only thing that could make this day better is more frosting. Oh my god. <laughs> non stop service to New York City. Our flight time tonight is. We're going to New York. Relax and enjoy your ride. Oh my god. 
Poor Gold. I really feel for him here. Never been on a plane before without any magic to protect him. Ah, oh, to find his son. He hasn't seen in like... Yeah, I don't know how long. I mean, he spent so long trying to find him that now that it's nearly the moment of truth, he probably doesn't even know what to do. This whole situation m must suck for him, especially since you can tell he has to rely on Emma and he doesn't like that. He doesn't like being vulnerable, weak and not in control. He probably hadn't had to feel so helpless in a very, very long time, which is interesting. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and see you in the next episode. Hello guys, welcome back to Sophie Reacts. I have a wonderful day today. We're going to be watching Once Upon a Time, Season 2, Episode 14. This episode is titled Manhattan. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. <laughs> what is it? What brings you home so early? Mila, <laughs> my weaving days are behind us. I've been called to the front. You hook us more. I report for training in the morning. He was excited about it. I, I can't say that I, I wouldn't be frightened. But th this is the chance I've been waiting for all my life. You know, I've lived under the shadow of my father's actions for too long now. Just because your father was a coward, it doesn't mean you are. Mm -hmm. But to the world, fighting in this war finally gives me the chance to prove that to everyone else. What's wrong? Is this the right place? Yes, it is. Let me guess, he's not expecting you. So, are we sure that he's still alive? And if he is, how old will he be? I'm guessing very, very old. Emma left town with Gold and she took him with her. And you didn't stop them? I didn't know until after they'd gone. I'm sure he's safe. And as soon as Gold's done, Henry will be back. The moment either of us leave, we lose our magic and our advantage. Your memories? None of us were victims of the curse. It's not about memories. Mm. And with the Dark One gone, we can search for the one magical item that can actually kill him here. His dagger. She wants the dark one gone too. Your magic globe didn't give you an apartment number? It doesn't work that way. Do any of these names mean anything to you? Well, names are what I traffic in, but sadly, no. But it could just be vacant. You might traffic in names and magic, but I traffic in finding people who don't want to be found. And those sort of folks don't like to advertise their whereabouts. UPS package for 407. Maybe you should have said FedEx. He's running. Is it, is it him? Can't run. Watch Henry. I'll be back. That's his son? Wait. Wait. Could it be? The idea had crossed my mind before, but I thought, I think, I think it's him. It's, it's, oh. it's him, right? You know what guys the idea crossed my mind but i was like his son must be older i even thought he could be dead this is i was like nah it can't be oh my god <laughs> this show sure knows how to make complicated plot lines henry is rumpelstilson grandson holy macaroni Oh my god! You know, New York, and we first saw Neil at the very start of season two in New York when August sent him postcard. Oh my god. But I still don't understand how is not dead or, you know, not, you know, way older. That, that's the thing that I don't get. Oh my God, that must be so crazy for Emma. And this is why he believed uh, um, August. 
because he knows about oh my god it's all coming to me now reactions here <laughs> it's happy to see her but she's like oh shit don't tell me it's him are you gold son what are you talking about who's gold god this is so interesting did he play me you both played okay, you slow and gold down. slow down what are you talking about who's gold your who's... father rubble silkskin oh my god why else would I be in New York? You brought him to me? Why would hey, you do that? Why am the only one allowed to be angry here? <laughs> Was the system gonna stick to the plan? Did, did, did you even care about me at no, all? Never, I wanna no. know. I want the. We, we gotta get off the street. We can't do it here. We're out in the open. I, I spent a lifetime running for that man. I'm not gonna let him catch me. Oh, wow. Incredible acting. Incredible performance here. Oh my god. Did you know who I was? Where I was from the whole time? Was the system gonna stick to the plan? Did, did you even care about me at all? I want to know. I want the truth. Okay, all of it. Fine. Holy shit. Whatever you're gonna tell me, tell me now. No, Bart's better. Don't worry. You can keep yelling at me when we get there. I am speechless. Seriously, to be seriously speechless. But the family tree just became so much more complicated than it already was. Just saying, like, think about the family tree. I, I, I don't even want. I don't even want to get there. I'm just gonna make, make my head hurt. So yeah. No, I have a feeling he's equally adept at it. Well, at least we found him, right? Indeed. It's his grandson. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hot dog. I forgot. Henry's related to the Dark One. Well, if it wasn't for you bringing Emma to Storybrooke, none of this would have come to pass. Exactly. The irony in this, knowing that it's your grandson. Holy moly. I forgave her, Emma, for giving me up. She thought it was the best for me then. That's why she did it. Uh, it's different for him. You're here now, and you want him back, right? More than anything. Then that's all that matters. Uh, I'm not sure. He looked pissed off that he's here. August, when you see what I have in here, you're gonna listen. It was the book. This is why he believed, uh, you know, he believed instantly because he's from there. Oh, wait, it's not the book! Yeah, right. I know you're Bearfire. Oh, that's even better, man. But how did August find out? Oh, I love this. I'm letting go in person because Pinocchio told you to? Emma. I love you. When you say it like that, <laughs> Emma. I, I, was, uh, just trying, I was trying to help you. By letting me go to jail. By getting you home. What are you telling me? I do see Neil's side of things, you know? It's like I was trying to fix his father's mess. Since Rumpel helped Regina set the curse, he wanted Emma to reunite with his with her family. Yes, it hurt her, but I feel like at the end he did the right thing. Now, now that I don't see Emma's side as well, I definitely do. But yeah, but we're talking about Rumpel. It just occurred to me. In order to reunite with his son, he robbed other parents of 28 years of their child's life. Yeah, Regina is not the only one to blame. Um, and I'm so blown away by how good Emma's actress is. Like, she is just a natural here. Maybe because the dialogue is organic, so real, and she's channeling, and she's channeling the damaged pre-storybroke version of Emma. You know, the one who lived her life as an orphan, was betrayed by the man she loved. It was amazing. Like the, Her performance here is amazing that us meeting was a coincidence. Because how the hell did that happen if it wasn't in your plan or your father's? Think about yeah, it. I don't even think that Rumpel knows. For a man that, you know, that, you know, absolutely calculated everything, always 10 steps ahead, I don't think he knows about this. Are you telling me that us meeting was a coincidence? Fate, destiny. You know, there's not a ton 
about my father that I remember that doesn't suck. But he used to tell me that there are no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. Fate, destiny, whatever you want to call it, the point is, maybe we met for a reason. Henry. Maybe something good came from us being. Because if it wasn't for Henry, nothing would have happened. He's the reason why Emma came back to Storybrooke. Holy moly! Maybe we met for a reason. Maybe something good came from us being together. Yeah, a brown-haired boy by the name of Henry. Yeah, and he doesn't know about Henry. Did she tell him? Oh, she didn't tell him. She didn't tell him. Doesn't matter now. I'm over it. And you. When you wear the uh, keychain, I got you. The fact that she still wears it, even though she thought that he betrayed her, maybe she still wears it, wears it as a reminder. Uh, yeah. Made a deal with him? Yeah, I'm upholding my end. You don't have to. You know that. Okay, so this should be She can break a, break a deal with the dark one. You never have to see me again. He's Henry's father. Henry has the right to know, and, and Neil has the right to know. Neil or Bellfire, whatever. I made it at the front. You guard this crate with your life. What, what's under there? A prisoner who can help us turn the tide against the ogres. Like how we're seeing what happened. Like we were told that he crippled himself in run from the war and you know end up being called a coward. But we didn't actually actually see what happened. I haven't had a sip in days. Have you know my name? I'm Seer. Oh, creepy. That's that's not possible. You must have overheard someone speak. Haven't you seen the eyes in her hand? Son of a coward, raised by spinsters, scared of ending up just like his father. Just end up like his father. He has something in common with Regina. Did I overhear that? I told you. He has other I he has daddy all. issues and she has mommy issues. Dark magic. Even if what I see concerns your wife, Mila. Why, something happened to her? Give me water. Give me water? She's thirsty and she's a child. I'm gonna die? No, 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 you, you must tell me how I can stop that happening. You can't. Then I'm done helping you. She didn't say you're gonna die in the battle. She said your actions in the battle would make him fatherless. That's the thing about seeing in the future. It's a tricky deal. He thought that he's gonna die and his son would be an orphan. But it's, it wasn't quite like that. It was his actions in the battlefield. I mean, by, you know, crippling himself and running away that made his son at the end, you know, fatherless. Because, you know, it's a, it's a chain of events. Him running away from the battle, crippling himself, he labeled as, as, a, as a coward, that made him want to be powerful and be the dark one. And because he, he you know, became the dark one, he lost his son. Ugh, oh, I love this man. And your actions will leave him fatherless. Gold's son. I know, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter right now because I don't know what to do. You told me you're not calling to ask me to tell you to keep it. From Henry thinks his father is dead. I told him that. Actually, what she's doing. Am I? You of all people should know how important that is. I don't want Henry to get hurt. I just want to protect him. Are you sure this is about protecting Henry? Exactly. Snow is right. Why are you so nervous? When I found my mom, I was excited. Because I have the benefit of a little more life experience. I know that things don't always happen the way we want them to. Sure, but in my book it says that you could see the future. Why can't you just look and see what's going to happen? Oh, really? I, I assume that at, at one point, because like the way he calculated everything from, you know, creating the dark curse, Mentoring Cora, then mentoring Regina, then putting Snow and Charming, you know, in the same path. Then, you know, everything was as if, you know, he put the pieces together because he knows what would happen. But we didn't get the confirmation. So the dark one can see the future. Seeing the inevitable can be a terrible price. 
But you wouldn't have to worry about stuff. You just know. I don't think it works that way. The future is like a puzzle with missing pieces. Uh... Another, another. What do you think? I love this. Go to wife. He doesn't. He doesn't want to even see him. Wow. Who are you? So it is true. You really don't remember anything. Are we friends? <laughs> but I'm here because I believe you can help me find something that belongs to Rumpelstiltskin, Mr. Gold. Shouldn't we be pillaging his shop, ransacking his home? That would be the obvious choice, yes. But it should be here. Well, it's not, is it? May we go now? Hold on. There's a map. So Rumpelstiltskin is Henry's grandfather? Apparently. But I'm his grand. You can have more than one. <laughs> Step. Not your brightest moment, Charmin. Grandmother is Regina. Yeah, don't, don't even try to get there. And she's also his adoptive mother. Yeah, but, but to make it simple, everyone is related to Henry. <sighs> it's a good thing we don't have Thanksgiving in our land, because that dinner would suck. <laughs> to see this family's Thanksgiving dinner. Or maybe this will mellow everyone out. <laughs> so. Stop. You can't just break in. Yeah, well, actually, that's something I'm quite adept at. He might not come back. Look, finding people is what you do, Miss Swan. I think they'd beg to differ. They're not dead, but they can't fight, which means they get sent home. That's the only way out of here alive. Fortune favors us. Fresh supplies have arrived from the Duke. Today, we will not be marching into battle. We'll be riding. Now grab yourself a cow. Get ready. I'm sorry, so what, what did you say? So it's all true. I'm going to have a son, and I'm going to die. She didn't say that you're going to die. Oh my god. <laughs> this is how he crippled himself? Dude. Gold, no, please. We really shouldn't be here. I don't think he's listening. You find something, Daddy? Nothing. I, it just looks like a dream catcher. You saw something. Tell me. You don't know what you're talking Tell about. Tell me! Henry, go wait in the bathroom. But I can help. Henry, go! Gold. Did he tell you something? Nothing. So? He didn't say anything. But you talked to him. Don't put words in my tell mouth. Tell me. Do not push me. Don't push me. We had a deal. A deal. No one. No one breaks deals with me. Hey. Holy moly. Oh my god. He came back. A strong name. <laughs> something he'll need. At least to live with the shame of being your son. So that you wouldn't have to fight, so that you would be sent home. Who told you that? Everyone! Rumors travel quickly from the front. Rumpel, did you do this to yourself? He tried to abandon me. I will never ever do that to my son. That's why I did this. For him. He's not a coward. It took some stones to smash his own foot like that. He sacrificed not only his leg, but also his honor, so his son wouldn't grow up without father. It really takes some courage. He chose his family. She chose her reputation in the village. You tell me who is the coward. And you know, if I were married and my husband went off to war, I'd rather have him come back alive than die as a hero. Is it just me? In this word, coward, if it weren't for this word, he would not have been the dark one. If people had not dubbed him as a coward, if his wife hadn't dubbed him as a coward, he would not have made the choices he had made. And when people tell you something enough, you stop believing it yourself. But damn, like, Rumpelstiltskin has one of the best backstories in this show. Growing up without a father. You sentenced him to a much worse. Growing up as your son. Oh, really? Bitch! You could have fought, Rumpel. Yeah, he could have died. Exactly, what the hell? You don't mean that. 
She's a bitch. I'm sorry, but no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Your papa's here. And I promise I will never. It's so sad. He really didn't want to leave his son. Oh. Oh wow, what a reunion. Looking to make sure you didn't hurt her. I've seen what you do to people who break deals. Please, babe, just let me talk. I have no interest in talking to you. You can go. I'm not coming anywhere. Get out of my apartment! Neil. Emma, I got this. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, he's gonna put two and two together? Oh my god. You two know each other. How? This is making me you feel, me feel, feel after him. No, 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 stop it! You're lying. How do you two know each other? Mom. You haven't. Oh my god! My son. What? Is that Bill I need. <laughs> ah! Holy moly! This plot twist, man. Oh my god. For some reason, it feels so satisfying. It, 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 it perfectly connects the, the two biggest threads of the show's plot. The missing person in, M uh, in Emma and Henry's lives and the core motivation behind all of Rumpel's actions, which is incredible. No, my dad was a fireman. He, he died. Uh, That's what you told me. Uh, you said... Henry. Lived up to her end of our bargain with us. Oh, yeah, so you could go. No, our deal was for her to get you to talk to me. If you truly want her deal to be fulfilled, you have but one choice. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. This is gonna, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> you got three minutes, oh my god. Uh uh. Oh my, now he has a proof. And it's a recording, holy moly. This is bad. Well done, Hook. We'll take it from here. No, you promised me! Uh! She wanted the dagger for herself. Much too powerful to be wasted on you. So, is this what it was all about? She wants to control the Dark One. Dagger so you can obtain his dark power? If we possess the dagger, we control the Dark One. Or maybe she becomes a Dark One. We can command him to kill Snow White, Prince Charming, and Emma. Oh, really? Why didn't you tell me? Because I never thought I would see him again. I never wanted to. Why not? He was a thief, Henry. He... You were a thief, too. He broke my heart. I could have taken it, you know. The truth. I know. He was just a part of my life. She wanted to forget. It's not something you, you can, you know, lie about and forget like that. I was thinking of me, not you. I thought you were different. She's just honest. Regina, she always lied to me, too. She got compared to Regina. That must have stunned so hard. Clock's ticking. I know I've made mistakes, but you must believe me. I want to make up for it. There's no greater pain than regret. Try abandonment. Please. Come with me to Storybrook. There's magic there. I can turn the clock back. He didn't back. just say... No, he didn't just say that. We can start over. 14 again. I don't want to be 14. Again, are you are you insane? I, I is he is he being serious right now? Magic was the reason why all of this happened. Ugh, seriously, Rumble, you still haven't learned anything. Make him fourteen again. Do you have any idea of the pain of going through puberty again? Just saying. Can't make up for the lost time, but I can take away the memories. Take away who I am, not me. Always magic. Always the solution is magic. You once loved me. You were once a good man. I can be that man again. I've changed. I came here to this city without magic. Yeah, yeah, and you're still trying to use it to make up for your mistakes. Exactly, that's the thing. The last thing I see before sleep is the image of you. You and me. Over that pit. Oh my god. Your hand wrapped around mine. Just make me cry. And as I fall away, all I can see is your face. Choosing all this. Yeah. <laughs> And just her. Oh my god. Oh. No, time's up. Oh, that was harsh. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I feel bad for Rumpel, but I hella respect Bay. 
for saying I never got closure, so neither were you. Like, ice cold, but makes you go damn. This reunion, man, it really feels so realistic. You can see how Rumpel had thought this all through, but it was one-sided. And then finally he's standing there with this real live person in front of him. And the pain and messiness of it all is suddenly so incredibly real. There's just nothing he could have done to prepare for it. But that's a whole, you know, magic talk. You know, trying to find a solution using magic. It's like, it's like he, he hadn't learned anything. What I foretold during the Ogre's War has finally come to pass. Well, in a manner of... <laughs> my actions on the battlefield left my son fatherless. Would it be nice to know about all that... <laughs> <laughs> you will not cast the curse. Someone else will. Oh, wow. Someone else will? <laughs> oh. To see the path you must take, there is only one way. I feel like I know the actress. Oh, this is how he becomes a... See her too. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not gonna do to him what he did to me. And what you did to me. <sighs> okay, I get it. Well, I'm gonna stop. What do you say we try to avoid that with him? Uh, Henry has had his share of messed up. <laughs> like the he grew up in a town that was cursed, where he was the only person that aged. Like, no wonder he believed in magic. It was either that or that he's insane. I'm sorry it took so long. It's okay. You didn't know. Henry! Oh, I love this kid. Oh, this episode is amazing. What the hell? <laughs> oh, oh. What the hell? It was gonna about... It was going to be about Rumpel and Belfire's reunion and the look at me. What the hell? The twists in this show. I've never seen anything like this before. In time, you will learn to separate what can be from what will be. Oh. I offer you one piece of You will be reunited. The funny thing is that the, he took, like, he became the dark one because someone else tricked him into taking it, you know, his powers because it was a, a lot to bear and a torment and also here same thing happened again wow I did with your son and it will come in a most unexpected <laughs> tell me about it for that boy is more he will lead you to what you seek but there will be a price Another freaking twist. Oh my god. Oh no. Then I'll just have to kill him. No! Oh my god! But he's your grandson! But how is he gonna be his undoing? What the hell? Oh my god, this episode, this episode. <gasps> Everything about this episode is just freaking perfect. Uh, but also, I'm very impressed by Henry's maturity and how understanding he is the way he forgave emma first then he forgave his father like he just has this giant heart an amazing amount of empathy that is just magic like seriously absolutely incredible i love him so much anyways guys i need to go thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed my reaction and see you in the next episode